All right, so it is raining, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick walkthrough on what we're doing here. We got Johnson grass. And a lot of it, right? It's dead for the most part now. We're gonna knock everything back in the flower bed and we're gonna blow it out and clean it up and rake it up and tarp it up and haul it away. Then we're gonna mulch over what's in the bed and we're gonna clean up the base of these crepe myrtles so they look a little more like crepe myrtles and just get it presentable because she's going to uh, be putting your house on the market soon. So uh, I'll be saying goodbye to this lawn. Wait a minute, <laughs> we haven't sung our goodbye song. Goodbye, oh. we won't be gone for long. I've been cutting it for five or six years. It's an odd lawn, really odd obstacles. Um, the backyard's a little crazy. I'll give you a walkthrough. I don't think we've ever filmed this one on I'm mowing have we? So we'll go ahead and film. We'll take the time this week and we'll film it right. We're gonna be playing catch up and we're gonna film it right and show you how we mow this one. And like I said, it's an oddball because the backyard's a little crazy. There's some garden area, there's some nonsense. There's, it's just, it's a tiny yard that takes longer than most yards that are easily four times its size. Yeah. And when I first took it on, I said, 35 bucks. And you know what they said to me? Her husband said, oh, I thought it'd be more. And you know what I just did in my head? Damn, my prices are low. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and get it looking good for them. Man, I am collecting haters like a cat lady collects cats. It's a good thing. I'm going to have a huge collection too. I'm going to call you Oscar and you're going to be Tiger. You're Simba. This one's gonna be Lucy and that one's Chloe. Mmm, yeah. It's gonna be good. Smokey, come on. Come on, Smokey. I got some food for you. Come on, Smokey. Come on, Smokey. Damn, Smokey, you stay tanked. I told Mama you weren't gonna act like this in church today. First off, welcome back to the channel. If this isn't your first time, uh, I want to say thank you for coming back. It really does mean a lot. And if this is your first time, go ahead and uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. There's a lot of lawn channels out there, but by far, this one's the best. In my opinion. Okay. Uh, moving forward, that's just, you know, I'm kind of biased. Whatever. It is what it is. But uh, here's the thing. I... I had a um, pretty good success with the last couple videos which is nice because we've been doing this for quite a while and uh, we got a lot of overwhelmingly positive response there's over a thousand likes on this most recent video and it just it, it's wonderful I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate it and there's barely any thumbs down so awesome ratio and then uh, you know we did get some uh, negative comments just a few but we got a lot of overwhelmingly positive comments and I want to say thank you all for the feedback because there is very good stuff here to uh, improve upon in the videos. More than likely I'll keep with my style for the most part, but I do make minor adjustments as we go. And in reality, you know, not just in business, but in life and everything that you do, you're looking for a 2 to 3% little change as you progress to make things better, right? That's my opinion. Like when I look at my business, I don't look at let's change everything right now and make it all better. It's what can I do two or three percent to make my business better. So I do want to talk about this job real quick and let you know what's going on before I get into talking about some other stuff. Um, this flower bed was overgrown with Johnson grass. It's incredibly crazy. Uh, the beds were sprayed off. I do not spray chemicals. The beds were sprayed off though. Uh, so we're just coming in and we're cleaning it up um, and getting it taken care of. So I tried using a weed eater on it at first. Uh, it, it ain't working. Okay. We had to put the uh, hedge trimmers on it. We're cutting it at the base. The weed eater was, the, the grass was getting strung up around the uh, weed eater head. So, and that will burn up your weed eater head. Plus, it's just annoying. So what we're doing is we're cutting it down with the hedge trimmers, coming back through, raking it up. Then we're going to uh, come through and weed eat it down to the ground. We're going to scalp it. Then I'm going to blow all of that out of the bed along with the old mulch. And then we're going to scalp it again. And then we're going to rake it out, blow it out. And then we're going to bring in new mulch. Okay. Uh, so that would be the method I would do when it's incredibly overgrown like this. Um, having it sprayed off is a, an 
it, it would be a key part of doing this project. We are doing it in the rain. Uh, we got rained out. Some people ask what we do in the rain, how we handle rain days. As long as there is no lightning, we are working. There's always something to be done, whether it's uh, mowing or you know if it's too wet then we'll go out and we'll do trimmings and we'll do cleanups and stuff like that and regardless we were going to get wet that day either way you know it was either going to be from the heat of the day or it was going to be from working in the rain i would would prefer working in the rain because it's cooler and it's, it's much much nicer okay so uh let's go ahead and get back on to i i was letting you know hey i appreciate everything and uh then there's a few negative comments and i just want to address how i'm going to handle that um, in the future because some of them said block me or you know delete my comment I want to let you know I don't delete comments on this channel uh, and I'm not gonna block you I appreciate somebody's feedback and if you disagree with me hey I believe you have the freedom and the right to uh, express your um, opinion whether you put it out hateful or not and you know I am strong enough to handle that okay so if it's a, an attack against somebody else involved in my channel, whether it's a family member or whatever it might be, yeah, then I would I would probably delete your comment. But as far as, you know, you want to come at me and you want to give me a little stab, that's cool, man. I eat it up, man. I grew up, um, you know, my friends and I, we were rough. We bashed each other. Uh, r recently, I've I been talking about religion. And uh, if you've been following me for several years, you know that... Um, I got religious a few years ago, and uh, it changed my life. It's been wonderful. Things are moving in a positive progression. My mindset in general has been better. And uh, some people see that in the video, and they're like, hey, I don't like you talking about that. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. Either mute it or go to another video. That's fine. Um, if you are um, interested, if you want to know how I got into uh, being religious the way that I am it's because I was looking to develop myself on a personal level so I, I was looking for personal development I was reading a lot of books listening to a lot of books on audible I mean hours and hours and hours and hours and hours uh, I listened to multiple books over and over and over and there was always these common themes these people would talk about little verses out of the Bible and they would repeat them and I'm like you know maybe I need to check that out and I've been in the Bible, it refers to it as uh, having a hard heart, right? Where you, um, you, uh, <laughs> my brother's phone's going off. Uh, where you have a hard heart and you don't want to listen or you don't want to hear what's going on, okay? So for years, anytime religion was brought up, I didn't want to speak about it. I didn't want to hear about it. I think for the first six years of my marriage if religion was brought up eh, I don't want to talk about it I, I just felt like it was a waste of time conversation but you know I I feel like I learned very well with one liner subject so you know I'll go in and I, I I'm looking for bite-sized consumable wisdom and even if you're not looking at the Bible in a religious aspect it is the basis for every self-help development book so I would suggest just reading it just for the self-help development and if it positively infect, it impacts your life that would be wonderful and some people say the book is outdated but the reality is the sun that came up 3,000 years ago is still the sun that comes up today and the principles of life that applied 3,000 years ago are still the same principles today business was business then marriage was marriage then you know having kids was having kids then do we have a few uh, technology changes absolutely but you know that's one of the things that happens so um, I want to lay out some uh, quick verses here just for you you know trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding uh, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will guide your path straight so you know on this channel I was making videos I felt like I was having a calling to speak about these things you know you, you feel like you can't uh, suppress certain things and if I feel a need to speak about something um, because it's coming from something much greater than I, I I felt conflicted about speaking about religion in general because I thought that it would negatively impact the uh, channel but the reality is every time that I put the Lord ahead of myself good things always happen for me so I would suggest you you know just kind of take, st take steps you're, you're good do your thing. If you're not religious, that's cool too. Uh, let's see. 
Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. It's Peter, First uh, Peter 5, 7. Um, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to, ought to answer each other. Okay? So let me go ahead and read that again because I stumbled. Uh, it's Colossians 4, 6. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each other. So if, if you think about salt, it's not like salty today. Like, oh man, she's salty. She's salty. You know, and that would be like, she's, you know, angry or pissy or whatever. No, being gracious, obviously that's a word. So you could just kind of um, conclude that with a sentence and understand with that verse that, they're talking about being gracious with you the way you speak. But if you look back in history, salt was a form of payment. It was a, it was a main seasoning. It was important. Wars were fought over salt. Salt was a very important part of life. So it was good. Um, you know, uh, for our speech, we need to be gracious and seasoned with salt. Our words should express tolerance. And thankfulness and kindness, um, not judgment. So you know when you when you come on and if there's something that you say and it's a, against, you know how I personally believe, your opinion doesn't offend me. And I just want you to know, um, I care for you. If you're getting online in any platform, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or whatever it might be, and it, it might negatively impact you to hear this in the moment, but. I was once in the scenario you were at where I would randomly bash people online because I thought it was funny, right? Uh, um, I'm hard to that stuff. You're not You're not going to hurt my feelings. Now, when I first started posting videos on YouTube, my feelings would get hurt for some reason. Um, but the thing is, like, not just with YouTube, but in business in general, and while I'm making myself a better salesperson, one of the things you have to handle is rejection. And then I understand... Uh, the more somebody rejects me, not not somebody in general, but the more rejection I have, the more success I have. So in business, it might take a hundred no's to get that one yes on a certain project or whatever it might be, you know. So for me, I, I put out a hundred door hangers and then somebody run down the block, wad it up, throw it at me, get out of your lawn maggot. You know, you might have these difficult time periods. Whether something like that, you don't need to worry. It's going to pass. Understand you're okay. Be strong and confident in yourself. I, I'm um, I'm a big believer, so the channel's Lawn Care Juggernaut. The idea of a juggernaut, what is that? It's an unstoppable, unmovable force. It's, it's, <laughs> you're, if you think about it with a soldier, it's a bulletproof soldier. It's a soldier that's got all these, uh, you know, this huge suit of armor on. It wasn't just some random thing I picked because it sounded cool. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, it's a, a lifestyle choice. And I think being a juggernaut in business or in life or whatever it might be is making the mental decision to have the fortitude that you can handle whatever's thrown at you. So that's just my personal opinion with all that, how I handle it, and uh, how I feel about somebody saying something negative. So uh, I was going, and the reason why I'm, I'm saying all this is that I was going to get on, and you kind of heard the cat skit in the beginning. Well, that was going to be like me ranting and be like, hey, I just want to let you know, if you're a hater, come on to my back porch. I'll feed you and keep you happy. Duh. And it's it was it was funny. When I was talking about it with my wife, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, but it's, it's not truly what I believe. Uh, in reality, the main reason for me starting the channel is I would like to see, um, well, I would like to see my own personal development in my life and myself get better and everybody around me. But not only that, anybody that I come in contact with and because you're listening to this video, you're somebody that I'm coming in contact with. I want to see your life get better. I want to hear your success stories. I want to give you the tips that I know, whether you're a homeowner and you're just looking for something to help you out, or if you are a business owner and you're looking to grow your business, um, I've gone through the struggle of starting a business with no money. 
I've been a homeowner where my lawn was overgrown. You, n- you never know how you're going to impact somebody. So my story of my struggle might help somebody. Um, me going out and working might inspire somebody that, hey, it's okay, you're going to be all right. It's hot, you're burnt out, but you're going to be okay. Uh, the Lord is on your side today. You're going to be able to, to go out there and do what you have to do. You're going to have that power there, okay? So um, I'm not a preacher. I, I can't tell you... Uh, I, I can't really articulate what I would like to fully tell you, but I just want you to know um, if you are having a, a moment, if you are struggling, if things are hard, if uh, you're beating yourself up, if you're tearing yourself up mentally because of uh, uh, whatever it might be, you know, there, there's a thousand and one things to uh, be critical on yourself about. Whatever it is, it's only it's only for a moment, okay? So uh, another little one-liner from that controversial book called the Bible. Um, I I believe this characterizes who I am and uh, my vision for this channel and the, the way that I would like to walk and progress forward. It's uh, Job thirty-three three. My words are from the uprightness of my heart, and my lips speak knowledge and sincerity. And then you have Colossians 4.16. So, have I become your enemy by telling you the truth? Okay, I'm going to talk about my experiences throughout business, my experiences throughout my life, what I have been through, and how I handle it, and just what I do on a day-to-day basis. But I will also talk to you about my financial, my spiritual goals, all of that. Um, You know, there's a video where I actually show my bank statements. I show how I onboard clients. I show how I do everything on this channel. Uh, I am an open book. And, uh, you know, I really leave myself open there. If you want to ask questions, I want to help. If you're starting out and you are um, in need of some guidance, I will absolutely help if you reach out and you're not an ask hole. That means uh, if you don't ask questions just for the advice um, you know you got to be willing to follow through so you know and I, I think that's what anybody if if you're looking for uh, mentorship to me the person that's going to do well is the person that's going to listen in silence and then take action on what they've heard so it's it's not enough to just listen but take action you know what are you going to do what are the small steps you're going to do today to move forward so I didn't really have time to uh, speak about the job itself. Maybe you saw me use the uh, the hose and spray this off. But I will tell you, we are coming back to this job. It started out with this flower bed. The client loved it so much that she actually uh, wanted me to completely clean up the house. We ended up power washing it. We power washed all the concrete. We uh, took care of some uh, flower beds in the back. We pulled out a bunch of uh, trash and debris and cut and cleaned up and did all sorts of stuff in the yard. It ended up going from about a $300 project here, 350 I don't know what it was. Uh, it's been a couple weeks now. But it ended up going from that to uh, about 2500 somewhere in that range. Uh, so it was, you know, a nice little... Nice little upsell, nice little uh, situation, and the client is wonderful to me, and she also gave me a five-star review. So thank you to her for that. I really appreciate that, and I hope that she has uh, wonderful and awesome success in her life as she takes uh, the next step and progresses into the next chapter of her life and moves into her new home.